An Arctic blast has taken over the wire grass as the coldest temperatures we have seen in over a year are here. On Foster Street in Dothan, residents were seen wearing extra layers of clothing as they walked into businesses or rushed to their cars to get out of the cold. The cold is also having an impact on grocery stores as bread, milk, and toilet paper is flying off the shelves. Um, we saw a pretty good uptick yesterday in business. It's going to probably get busy today after everybody gets off work. Hometown Food Center in Headland is seeing people stock up as they make sure to have food available ahead of the freeze. Freeman says it has not gotten crazy yet, but he knows other store owners in North Alabama where it was a different story. They're saying that it's a lot crazier up there. Of course, they had some snow, and you know how it is in Alabama whenever you have snow. But they've, they said it's been a pretty interesting day. On the roadway, the possibility of ice on the road exists. And officials say that if you get caught in this situation, to stay off the road if possible. But if you are to drive where there are icy roads, they say to slow down, stay alert, and give the person in front of you plenty of room to drive. County officials and organizations are trying to combat this freeze by helping those in need of a place to stay, as warming shelters have opened up their doors tonight through at least Thursday morning. But they say if the freezing cold conditions stay, then there's a possibility that the shelters will be open over the weekend. At warming shelters in Enterprise in Houston County, officials say a meal and a place to stay will be provided for residents. Now, Freeman adds that the snowy and icy conditions in North Alabama could also delay one of their delivery trucks for tomorrow morning. So to combat that, they've added extra stock of milk and bread to make sure that that delay doesn't impact them like they think it might. Here, in, we're live in Houston County. Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.